So I recently just took a trip to Texas for Christmas, you know, to spend time with the family. So what uh, we packed up, got on the road, and uh, headed off to Texas. So it's good just to get out with family. But while I was there, I visited a cool game store called the Game Over Video Game Store. So Anne, I think I lucked up. I got some pretty cool things. All right, let's do it. Welcome back to Gamer to Gamer. And I've been playing games and collecting games ever since I was a kid. So therefore I decided to start this channel up. So if you like my videos, smash that like button and subscribe. So without further ado, let's start the video. Alright guys, so welcome back to Gamer to Gamer. I'm inside the store and man, they seem to have some pretty cool stuff here. Uh, they have a lot of retro games right here. I think I'm going to buy me uh, a couple of PSP games. So they have Atari games here. Wow. I haven't seen Atari in years. Alrighty, got a lot of PlayStation 3 games here. Uh, I think I got most of these, but uh, uh, I'm going to try to pick up something, though, since I'm here. Yo, check this out. Classic games. <laughs> Got a lot of bo I wonder if those boxes are empty, but I don't know. So this is the 360 section. Oh, check that out. A white connect. <laughs> More classic games. And so these are clearance. None of these work, but they're 50% off. They're 30 bucks, so... Yeah, you pay like what? 15. So they, they do have a nice collection of uh, retro stuff. So I gotta get something. Wow, check these out. Classic. So it's funny when I go to these stores, surprisingly. A lot of these stores have pretty much the same thing. All the hard to find stuff. I'll oh, check it out. A video game museum. Dreamcast. So these items are getting hard to find here. And check this out. Wow, ColecoVision. Wow. I guarantee none of this stuff is for sale though. But they have a nice little collection up in here. A lot of box stuff. That's crazy. Check that out. Atari. Still in box. Man, I'm going to go broke if I stay in here any longer. <laughs> wow, look at that. Look at all the PlayStation games. All right, you know what? I'm gonna grab me something and uh, head out. All right, let me do this. All right, guys. So here are some of my picks that I picked up uh, on my trip. So I picked up a few things. So uh, I guess let's get started with the Nintendo Switch stuff. So I pick up uh, Scott Pilgrim versus the world the complete edition hunt down which i never heard of but i heard it was a i look at the reviews and it did pretty good people like it help wanted and five night at freddy's i think this is a part two i could be wrong but yeah i picked up them both because i was really curious about these Cart racer <laughs> uh spongebob so i'm really curious about it i thought you know what i want to try this and all-star brawlers uh man i was kind of looking forward to this game you know i really was so just to play with all these characters yep so i decided to pick this one up also and i did pick up one dreamcast game soul caliber i don't know what happened to mine but uh i couldn't help it i had to pick this one up 
So I did pick up some uh, PSP games. Um, so I never heard of this, but it was really cheap. I think it was only $4.99. Yeah, I picked up this, this one also since it was so cheap. And also picked up Appleseed. I saw the movie before. I thought, eh, I don't have any movies for my PSP. So I thought I'd pick this one up. And I picked up one PS3 game. I do not have this one in my collection. But hey, it looks fun. And I got two PlayStation 2 games. I never heard of it, but like I said, they were so cheap, I decided to put it in my collection. And Rebel Raiders Operation Nighthawk for the PlayStation 2. I also picked up this portal, the Skylander portal, because these things are becoming hard to find these days, so I decided to pick it up. Hey, it was only $4.99, can't really beat that. And I picked up a few PlayStation 5 games, trying to expand my collection here. I got Far Cry 6, I got Battlefield 2042, Kena, uh, Bridge of Spirits. I never uh, played this one before, I saw the reviews, it was pretty good. And I got two Rainbow Six Deluxes, because I love when my buddy comes over and we play multiplayer, so I wanted to try this one out. And I bought two Gears 5 because, like I said, I love playing uh, co-op games. But um, these, these were really cheap. I think they were only like uh, $4.99. Brand new. And check this out. I thought this was cool. It looks like a little arcade. I think it's candy up in here. Yeah, I thought that was really cool. And check it out. Alter Beast for the Sega Genesis still in the box. Um, it doesn't have the uh, manual, that sucks. But hey, it's in the box, and the box is up in really good condition. And I also picked up the Retro Fighters for the Dreamcast. Um, like I said, I always wanted one of these, but man, that's that's in black. So I thought that was really cool. I want to definitely make a video on this one. That looks like a cool controller. Also picked up the Brawler 64 wireless gamepad. I thought this was kind of cool. A wireless 64 controller. I got two of them, but man, I like the way this gamepad looks. It looks uh, so modern. And that's pretty much it. Oh, I did pick up a, uh, let's see here. A Mario blanket it's kind of cool this is how it looks when it's all folded out that's pretty sweet I thought that was kind of cool so I decided to pick this one up other than that guys thanks for watching gamer to gamer